have a look down to see what the present prices are. They've made Golden Miller favourite again now at the moment at eight to one, and Heartbreak Hill at nine to one, second favourite. Eight to one Heartbreak Hill, on the national. Eight to one Heartbreak Hill. Eight Heartbreak Hill, on the national. Let's come down to the paddock now and have a look at the horses close to. The first horse we see is Society. There's Mr. Shackley mounting his mare. And now Maloney mounting Delaney, number 14. You can see that horse several times in the race. Heartbreak Hill, Colliery Bend, Forbra, last year's winner. Alpine Hut with a white blaze. Troublemaker, Merriment the fourth. Delaney again. Trocadero, the French horse and Egremont. The parade, the Coup de Chapeau, and Golden Miller. The horse in the right-hand corner is Ruin. Just in front of Ruin, Chad Ford, then Pellerus Jack, Really True, and Slater. They finished second and third, of course, in the race. Parade, you see what a wonderful life it is. Here are all the horses, lined up, and we think they're off. The great cry of they're off goes up, but they're not, the false start. Fifteen this side is Trocadero, the French horse. There's Mr. Perth going up to try and get them off for the second time. And this time, he is successful. They're off, and you see them charging at the first fence. At the first fence, happily, there's only one horse fall. You see what a wonderful exhibition of jumping the horses put up. But you'll see you tell falling here in the centre of the picture. But the most amazing recovery just behind you tell is Pellerus Jack, who absolutely stops. Stops to a walk, as you might say. But stop keeps him on his feet. He must have lost or anything up to 50 yards there. Coming over Beaches, the order is Colliery Band this side, Kelsborough Jack, Remus on the far side. Gregalak this side and home. Although this is usually one of the most formidable obstacles on the course, there was happily only two falls. Dusty foot giving Mr. Bostwick a nasty fall. Fortunately though, I'm going to say he was only just very slightly cut about the face. You'll see Dusty foot falling in the center of the picture. Mr. Bostwick, I walked back with him to the stands, asked me if his horse really fell. This photograph was showing that what I told him was really true. He certainly did win. Here are society, usually one of the best of jumpers, seemed to find the fence is too big for her. She tried to refuse there. She jumped short and deposited Mr. Shackley heavily on the ground. I was afraid he was hurt. It was a great relief to see him get up. We're now by the railway. This is the furthest point from the stand. And the horse with the hood is Slater. And we see a good deal of later. Now, there are a remarkable number of horses still standing at Valentine's. There's usually a very, very much more grief for the time they get here. The horse jumping this side with the hood is old Belly Hanwood, who's jumped this course many, many times. And now there's Chad's Ford, a light-coloured horse. At least a light-coloured rider jumping perfectly. We find him Annandale. And there, Belly Brack, who won the hunter's race here last year. At this fence, there are two falls. Look in the right-hand corner and you'll see Fearless fall and bringing down Annandale. There's Fearless falls and bringing down Annandale just behind it. Luckily, both jockeys soon on their feet. Now on the race course, Remus lead from Colliery Band with Kelsford Jack on the inside. He went on the inside, went right the way through. Over the water, Remus gives a magnificent jump and leads from Colliery Band 
with Kells for Jack. Look what a huge jump he's made. Delaney, Holmes and Gregory jumping side by side. Really true, he's a very, very long way behind. Just shows what he hasn't jumped yet. Shows what an extraordinary amount he caught up. You'll notice there's not a single splash at this, even a splash of the water. All the horses jump it perfectly. Now they've got halfway. And Remus leads from Colliery Band and Kells for a jack. You see the loose horses, that one going out to the right. With Heartbreak Hill. Lord Summerton here falls from Guiding Light. Luckily, he just rolls over, the horse avoids him, and he's soon up again on his feet. There are still an amazing number of horses standing because this slow motion fixture doesn't give you the idea of the enormous pace at which the race is being run. Now, we, the next fence we see is Beecher's for the second time. And Kells Jack this side, and Remus and Delaney, just going off the picture, lead the field. The most important point here is that Golden Miller, right in the centre of the picture now, makes a frightful bloomer, and Ted Leader makes a brilliant recovery. But he doesn't quite, luckily, he doesn't come to grief. See, there's Eggerman now, jumping. He couldn't go the pace at which the race has run this year. Last year, of course, he was first or second, all through the latter part of the race. There's Merriman the fourth, going off the picture now. Still an extraordinary number of horses standing up, and the horse jumped last, just jumping now. At least no, there's still one more to come. There's Ballybrack now, the old hunter sails over the fence. They all seem to peck because that's because of the drop. The railway turn is just over a mile to go. Remus, this side, leads from Kelsburg, Jack, and Delaney. Delaney being hard ridden to keep them. They jump the fence, and uh, Kelsburg, Jack, gains on Remus. And now, if you look very, very carefully, you may see Golden Miller's fall. Golden Miller is rushed up by leader. You'll see, there he is, being rushed up now at the canal turn fence. But unfortunately, they come to grief. You'll see Leader comes in off just in the right-hand corner. And so to Valentine for the second time, where Remus and Colliery Band and Slater jump almost together. That white, light-coloured jockey there, just leading between of those two, is really true. The first time really true really comes into the picture. And here, poor Coup de Chapeau comes to grief for the second year in succession and deposits Jerry Wilson on the ground. He falls very gracefully, I'm going to say, is soon, quickly, up on his feet again. At this point, Remus drops back beaten. But I want you now to be prepared for the great tragedy of the race where Pellerus Jack, at this last fence, now you'll see Pellerus Jack, who Billy Scott So up the straight we come, up the straight with Kelsford Jack passing the post, three lengths clear of really true and the hooded horse later third, just behind. And there, number seven is Kelsford Jack. You can see what a grand looking chaser he is with Dudley Williams on board, followed by Crocodile. There's Kelsford Jack being led back into the unsettling enclosure by the owner's husband, Mr. Ambrose Clark. And Ivor Anthony, who put up a wonderful performance in training his horse to victory, just behind. There, Mr. Ambrose Kraut leads the horse back into the unsettling enclosure. See what a perfectly trained horse he is, and what a delightful horse. And so we leave Kelsborough Jack, the Kikini Motomar, till the Grand National of next year. <laughs>